Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video! I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to show you how to make a divider card and this time for the legs there we are using the everyday label punch and that is on page 12 of the new holiday catalog um, everyday label punch page 12 that's what i am using for this i did one in the pack and it was the modern label i think something like that i don't remember it's not available anymore the other punch so we're going to do this one with the new punch look beautiful with for those legs this is for a class in the mail it's with the painted harvest and uh, this one i'm using all different color uh, i got bermuda bay rose red uh, elegant eggplant, uh, Daper Denim, uh, Bermuda Bay. So it's all mixed color. Today we're going to use one color. And again, if you're interested for the class in the mail, just up on my blog at frenchystamps.com. I get the link above and you will find the detail for the class in the mail. So I'm going to show you, share many tips on how to cut the paper to get most out of your paper. And so let's get started with the base card itself. Uh, that's the part that you're going to stamp on that you're going to take i'm using very vanilla you're going to put that at four and a quarter on the long way so you're going to put four and a quarter by 11 and then you're going to turn this around and you will cut that at two inch well you're going to cut two inch off so really you are left with a piece that measure nine by four and a quarter this piece of two inch it's you still going to use it cut at four so you remove a quarter inch voila and this is this piece here so everything you see in very vanilla here this it's all one half of a sheet of cardstock we're going to stamp all on one sheet and then cut it because if you see everything coordinate there this was the other part of this this over here there there so you want to do all the stamping at once and then we're going to cut that out so i prepare some but we're going to finish it today uh, like i said we're using just one color and we are using rich razzleberry with fresh fig if you didn't see my first video of watercolor with the painted harvest what i done to make it easier for me to stamp is it right or wrong i don't know because a lot of times stamping up give us a little divot you know to say that's the top and that this one don't have that so i made my own what i mean by that it's this was over here the stamp set before you remove it it's full of inks so i don't want to remove it and this was over there and then i had um the center well what i done i went about the same uh, place there and i put a p uh, not a piece but a mark with a pen if you look at it i got a mark of pen there mark of pen there and a mark of pen there so that way when i mount them i all put my um, dot of the pen on the left hand side left hand side left hand side i think you can see that little dots there and over there so now when i stamp they all go in the same direction so for me it make it life easier is that the right place to do it i don't know for me <coughs> this work beautiful so the bigger sunflower should be in the lightest color so that's going to be rich razzle berry like i said i did most of it because i didn't figure that you had to watch me stamp the whole thing so i'm going to do one right here and i noticed i didn't <coughs> i got a frog in my throat i didn't uh, do the top of that one so we get two tops there now we're going to use the fresh fig with the smaller one the step two should be the smaller one again i got my dot there i'm gonna go on the side there and you see it go very very beautiful now if you look at my work or my stamp here it look uh, it look very wash off and not uh, stamp properly right 
It is. It, to make all the variation of the color, if you look at the stamp set, that's the way the stamp set is made. See? Darker and lighter. So don't think that your stamp set is defective. It is the way it should be. Let me uh, see. You get light and dark and light and dark only with one color ink. So that is the way that the stamp set is made to get, get you the variation of the color of the petals. So your stamp is not defective. It is the way that it is built. So now we're going to take this piece here and we're going to cut it. But as you cut it, you want to keep it in order. So when you're going to mount it, it's going to be together. I see I rug my stamp at a few places, but I'm not worrying about that. It's still going to be okay. So now you're going to cut this all at two and a quarter. So you're going to take this two and a quarter, two and a quarter and two and a quarter so now you should have four piece that measure two and a quarter by two and a quarter don't mix them friends here we go you get four equally piece all stamped at the same time so then they all going to flow together lovely next step you want to take a piece of cardstock uh, i'm using a crumb cake here that measure five and a half by eleven so you just cut it on the long way so you get five and a half by 11. This one, we're going to take our score tool and we will score at two and three quarter, five and a half, and eight and a quarter. Oops. Now you get four panel all the same size. Take this. We're going to fold in, out, and out. So there, there, there. See? All the same size. This is very important that your, I think it's called varnish, 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 your score. And you will understand why it's so important in a minute. Um, I always say when it's a 3D and that is very important. But this one, it's so it's going to fit in your punch. So take your everyday label punch, take your first two, so I get those two. You cannot do more than two at a time because it would be too much pressure on your punch. Okay, if you look at your punch, you get right in the center the X there. X mark the spot, so you're going to bring that right there. And on each side of this, the, the punch inside, you're going to see it kind of a divot in, so that's the center there. So you're going to stop that there and to make sure that I am on each side equally, I just push that there and it seems that bring me right on each side equally. I'm just making sure that I am straight there. This can be pushed. You want to make sure you're right on the side there, your punch, and over here. Because if you go off, you don't have much space to uh, be playing around here. See? Can have a little bit more there. So you want to be careful on each side that it looks straight. I, I mean, it don't pass, so you don't have no legs, really. So that looks straight here. Maybe a little bit up there. Here we go. Punch. Woo, we got it. Sometimes I get nervous. I'm like, is it going to be okay? <laughs> when it's it's very tight. See, you don't have no much place to uh, play around there. Now, move that one. And there, I like to do it just one at a time. Because you have to look at your opening from your punch here. Match that perfectly. Punch, match this, punch, ta-da, see now you get the perfect opening all around, so it's no mix match and it's not one off and that, so it all go perfect. We're almost done my friends. So now, okay, this is going to be the front of our car.
wait a minute here we go the front of our card and it opened this way so let's put that open this way i pre-cut um four piece of a fresh fig that measured two and a half now i'm blank yes two two and a half by four and a half two and a half by four and a half now we will put our piece together so i'm going to start over there because that was my last one there right uh oh we forgot one of the top here in the brown i guess i forgot to do the moon i call about it not the moon but the center of the here we go make sure you put your center now we're going to turn this around and um before i glue it to my paper there i just want to make sure that i went at the right spot so i won't glue it there i'm just going to glue it on top of my uh, fresh fig in case if i flip one by mistake or so on so um i'm just going to go ahead and do these and then see if i'm right and if i'm right then we're going to glue that on See those two match. See? And then the next one. So very simple to do this divider card. And especially if you stamp it all at once. And then uh, when I was done, I was like, hmm, wait a minute. I need a place for my greeting. So that's when I was like, oh, I got this little piece left over and I just cut the bottom. So really it happened perfectly. Half a sheet it's exactly what you need for here it is perfect okay i think i kept all my uh stuff together straight for once see those two match that match that match okay now we can glue this together if you would like to um do more um you know the front more detail or more layers i'm going to show you here in a minute um you have to be careful how much more layers you're going to put if you want to put send that in the mail right now i think i got it that it's going to go in the mail with just one stamp uh, but it's right at almost at the max so if you put a lot more layers maybe you're gonna have to um put uh, extra uh, postage or even embellishment gonna bump you know raise the card and that could be also um need more embellishment right now for me it's working i think so now the two inch here it's gonna come right there so what i done i just use uh, i'm gonna use pure pizzazz here and i'm just gonna do one of the little leaf at the top i won't do nothing fancy for now i'm gonna put that right here here we go and then i won't even do step two i just gonna do the detail one because i well you know what i can do step two too here we go let's do it see they match perfectly together usually i do all olive in the detail and in the full one i do pure pizzazz but see even with one color you get all the variation of color that's how the stamp set it's built very very lovely now i got this greeting here i am thank thankful for you and that is true i am thankful for all of you that support me and we're going to use fresh fig and we're going to put that right there that would be awesome to put at thanksgiving table or you can send it to you can turn this a different greeting and put a happy birthday or thinking of you or whatever but if you use just the this stamp set that would be a cute uh, thing to put with everybody's name at the table at thanksgiving and put i am thankful for you and say something about your guests i think that would be very very lovely now we're going to put that right here see perfect 
so now okay i'm going to show you the finish with all the colors also both of them are very lovely this is more busy this is less um i put a piece of linen thread that was okay a little bow at the front i wanted okay now for the mailing like i said this is a lot of layers because it's three layers per section so it's three six nine uh twelve so it fit perfect in an envelope um it's just that it's not as long and you're gonna fold it and it will just you know it's very tight so that's what i'm saying if you add one more layers i bet you're going to need extra postage um you cannot open it up in two and put it in the envelope that won't work see it's too big so this is it you can hear my phone it's ringing so again all the measurement will be on my blog at frenchystamps.com and it's right above right here above you're gonna have the eye and if you like this video please give me the thumbs up have a great day bye bye for now